In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of green screen footage. Well, the green part of the footage, of course. Now I want to make this quick and I'm going to show you two methods. Sometimes one works better than the other one. In this case, the first one, I'm going to use the color tab. Usually what you would do is you're going to go to the color tab, right click and then out the alpha output. That is so that you can actually see the transparent part later on. If you click right here with the color picker, we're going to see this black. So it basically selects everything that's green. And we need to go here to the key section and then we're going to invert the output. Now, the issue with these is that while you can adjust things using this method, it usually leaves a little of a residue that is a little bit hard to take and that you have to like play around with the different values to be able to get rid of. And it's usually not that perfect because you can still see it a little bit sometimes like here you can see it and notice it a little bit. Now, another thing that I like to do is and this works best when you have the green screen be completely green without shadows or like if, that means that if you're using a green screen and you, you are recording yourself, you want to make sure that it's properly lit and that you are having weights or something to hold it down so that there's no like creases and stuff that produce shadows. Now, the thing here is in Fusion, we're going to press Ctrl and Spacebar to open our selection tool menu and we're going to add the ultra keyer. I really like these because you simply drag the color picker here and then you can take this out and it usually works pretty well. And you have to do minor adjustments here with the background correction like that a little bit and then make separation. But it's really actually quicker than the other one. And it looks a little bit better. If you compare both of them on screen right here, you can see that this method is actually a little bit more accurate, but it's not always like that because well, this here is not actually a residue from the green screen. It seems to be that's actually from the image of the petals. Yeah, so that is it for this video. It's a pretty quick tutorial to show you how you can do this both ways. If you want to be able to adjust things more properly, then use the color tab. And if you want to take time to do that, but if you have simple stuff, then maybe the ultra keyer is probably the easier way to go. I hope this video is helpful and I will see you in the next video. Here in Swabi. Bye.